What's going on everyone? You're welcome once again to David Data Channel. If this is your first time here or you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming. I'd like you to also please hit the like button and subscribe button because it goes a long way to encourage me in making more of these videos like this. Right, and also the notification bell so you can notified once a new video drops in. Thank you so much for that. Alright, so let's jump into today's video. For today's video, we're going to be talking about data lineage. Right, you can check our videos on um, other topics around DBT, other data stack, or data ingestion as the case may be. Alright, so today we're going to talk about data lineages, what they are, and why they are fundamentally important in today's data space or modern data stack or ecosystem. So what is data lineage? Data lineage provides a holistic view of how data flows or moves in your organization, from point of storage to transformation to, to when it is consumed by end users. Data limit gives you that whole visual picture of how your data flows. Now, this is a very fundamental concept into this um, data ecosystem as data engineers or analysis engineers, because it's very important for you to understand how your data flows from upstream users that are using produce to downstream users and what is being used for. So typically, a data limit would have one or both of these two features. One of them is a visual representation of how your data flows from source to um, transformation to downstream users, probably known as a DAG, right? A visual DAG or, or and a data catalog that shows all the data assets for each of the users within the organization. A holistic view of a data pipeline allows data teams to work more efficiently and effectively because they are able to build, troubleshoot and um, understand how things really flow in the organization, right? How data flows in the organization and also your data lineage allows business users to understand the source of their data reporting, right? They can see they can see the flow of where data is coming from, how it, where, where it was transformed, and then how it got to them. And so you can also aid for data discovery purposes, really, that comes with your data cataloging and stuff like that. So why is data lineage important? Data lineage is important for several reasons. Uh, because as the data becomes more complex and grows, you begin to see the importance of having a visual representation or a catalog that allows you to um, find or discover data as you need them to be. Um, some benefits include number one, root cause analysis. So your data lineage allows you to do root cause analysis quickly, faster, and efficiently in your data teams. Typically, or sometimes, oftentimes, not maybe not may not be often, but sometimes you uh, get to find out that maybe a dashboard report is not correct, or a data that is supposed to feed an ML model is not is not feeding anymore. So with your data lineage, you can easily spot and say, oh, this dashboard is, is using this particular data. And you can, you see, with, with your lineage, you can actually trace down and see all the data that is affected by that dashboard. In other words, you can see all the dashboards that is dependent on that data. And with that, you can easily trace down to find out what the problem is easily. Because typically, without the lineage, just start finding and searching and, and trying to figure out where the problem is coming from, what the problem is and all that. But with a simple data lineage, you can easily just track back and figure out what the problem, where the problem is coming from, either from the source or transfer data set or the end product data as it's where as the case may be. Will a data lineage or DAG solve your data pipeline issues when they break? No. But will it help you solve them faster? Yes. It will help you know where the problem is coming from and help you solve them quickly, faster, efficiently and increase productivity and reduce downtime your data team. Another benefit of um, data lineage is downstream impact on upstream changes. Have you been in a place where your data engineers, no, your software engineers decide to say that, oh, they want to drop a customer table and maybe create a new user's table that is more better and accurate, you know, which is a very good thing, but it is that they didn't tell you, right? But then you have, um, uh, you have dashboards or you have reports or you have models that are dependent on that customer table and they just break it and change it, really. So data lineage would allow you to see the impact of an upstream change that is done by your software engineers or data engineers, they would help you easily know the impact of that changes for downstream users. If you have 50 reports from that data that goes out to 15 other units, you would understand that the impact of that change will affect several other units. It will help you to prepare and um, help you to give notice to the affected users so that you can manage expectation for the business user. So another benefit is that it has value to business users. So typically, data lineage would provide more value to data users, to you and I who are cleaning, transforming, producing the data, right? 
Uh, but then a business user would also benefit from this because they would get to see data transparency. They get to enjoy transparency and see how um, data flows and increase trust for your data. Right? One of the things you want your business users to, to get is trust from you. And another benefit is shared data literacy. Have you joined the data team before and you don't know what was what, what this is, where the data is coming from, where it's going to? Something breaks, you don't know how to fix it because you don't know where it's coming from or where it's going to. You have to start checking your queries one by one to see the tables involved in the queries and stuff like that. No. Data Lineage gives you shared data literacy. It allows everybody to become data literate, right? One of the ways to enhance data governance your organization because everyone now begins to understand where data is coming from, where it's going to, who is using it, and all stuff around like that. So, it should be a very interesting stuff you should explore for your organization. So, how does Data Lineage work? Basically, if you're using a transformation tool like DBT, once you've um, created your sources and you're referencing those sources or models in other models, you get to see a simple linear diagram that's um, called your DAGs that shows that relationship. And so from your DAGs, you can actually see the dependencies and the uh, upstream models that are dependent on downstream models. You can see the relationship, how they flow. Now, there are also third party um, tools that you can integrate with to integrate the data pipeline with to see those flows. Tools like um, Cicoda, um, Monte Carlo, Atlan, Colibra, and then select star. Now, that are also directional. They show how data is flowing, right? So it shows the flow. And um, it's also good because it helps you see where your data flow may not be very efficient, right? Ultimately, that's an effective way to show relationship between sources, models, and dashboards or uh ml models or other use case for your uh, models data models you've built or data sets you've built all right so what are some challenges of data lineage a typical challenge of data lineage would be scaling your data pipelines as your data pipeline begin to scale and increase in volume your amount of models begin to increase from sources and models and stuff like that your dags begin to become overwhelming right but then your dags are not supposed to be your enemy but they are supposed to they are meant to be your friends so we can um try to find ways to make your code cleaner so that you can find relationships within your DAG easier even though your models begin to increase and your tables begin to increase as well so in conclusion your data lineage gives you a holistic view of how data flows in your organization and this is something very important that would make your work more productive and efficient overall using your data lineage and DAG to know when your data is transformed and when it's used by end users is the foundation of good analytics work Alright, so we've come to the end of this video and I hope you got a thing or two out of this video. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe as well if you have not, and also share your thoughts in the comment section as well. So we'll meet again in the next video. Bye for now.